What if we couldn't have ever known the fullness of God's love, his heart and his character if we hadn't rebelled and then seen him buy us back? What if we had to fall to know the depths of his love? Right, like we wrestle with what Paul writes in Romans about Israel, about how they had to fall so that the Gentiles could be could be uh, grafted in. But what if that's not just an Israel Gentile thing? What if that was God's plan for all of humanity that we had to fall so that we could know His heart, that we had to fall so that we could know the depths of His love? Jesus said in John fifteen three, "Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends." So doesn't that mean, and it's Jesus speaking, so we know that it's true. Doesn't that have to mean that God's greatest love was not in creating us, not in providing for us, not in protecting or sending angels or prophets. It's not in even doing signs and wonders and miracles. God's greatest love was Jesus dying for us. Greater love has no, no one than this, that he would lay down his life for his friends. Romans chapter 5, verse 8 says, but God demonstrates, slow down a second with me, or I, I'll tell me to slow down. I'm the one who goes too fast. Romans 5, 8 says, but God demonstrates. Notice that's present tense. God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died. That's past tense. Christ died for us. That means that the current demonstration of God's love is in the past action of the cross. This is important. This is, and I know it sounds like grammar, so a lot of us aren't interested at all, but this is really important. The current demonstration, the way God is showing you his love right now is still the cross. The way that God shows anyone his love ever is still the cross. The reason many of us struggle to believe in God's love, struggle to, to grab it and grab hold of it, is that we keep looking in places other than the cross. 1 John 3.16 might be the most important statement made about this. This is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us. The definition of love is revealed in the death of Christ, but we keep looking for it in lesser places and for lesser things. We keep seeing the cross, knowing the story, and then looking around and saying, but I need you to love me like this. But, I, but I'd like you to love me over here. I, I need you to love me in my health. I need you to love me in my marriage. I need you to love me in my finances. I need you to love me in my community. And all we're saying, all we, what we don't realize is we are skipping the main revelation of God's love for things that we'll never understand until we're living in and from the cross. 